Maps, a powerful tool to seeing the world at a glance. So have you ever been out exploring and this thing happens to you? Has this ever to happened you? to you? You're on vacation. You think you have your bearings, but you turn a corner and suddenly you're lost. The good news is you have a map. The bad news is you have no idea where you are. Well, the good news is today we're going to solve that problem by teaching you how to read maps. Learning objective. I will know basic map reading skills and no different purposes for maps. So different types of maps that we're going to look at today. We have road maps. So here's an example of a road map in Utah. That's pointed to Salt Lake, the capital. So that's marked by the star. Right here we have I-15 marked in red there and it also has that little blue and red symbol with the 15 showing that that's the freeway there. Here's some important cities, Provo and Moab. So um, the map will show you cities and roads. So a political map, this is a map of the Middle East, shows you countries. So right here we have Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Iran. Um, these are all different colors and they show the borders. See right there, they're the borders of Yemen. So uh, it also shows important cities and capitals. So Cairo is the capital of Egypt. And Jerusalem is a big important city for a lot of religious groups. So physical maps. Physical maps show the physical topography. So for example, you can see right here that I've marked Florida and Florida is low sea level. It's and it's marked in dark green. Up here I've marked Colorado, which is dark, which indicates high elevation. So I've also marked some important landmarks or so we have the Great Salt Lake there, we have the Mississippi, Mississippi River and the Appalachian Mountains. So reading a map. So we have orientation here. So you can see the little compass there and that shows you what we're looking at. So the south is at the top and the north is at the bottom and then west and east. So that will orient you so you know what you're looking at when you're looking at a map. See, the south is not where it usually is. Usually the north is up there at the top. So then lines of latitude and longitude. This is a line, these are lines of longitude. They run north to south across the globe. And these are lines of latitude that run east to west. And they kind of work as a grid system to show you exactly where you are on Earth's surface. So this is a map scale. So you can see there, I pointed that out. So it says about, Houston is blank miles from Brownsville. So you can look at, look at the map scale and you can see that one inch equals 100 miles. So right here is Houston and there's Brownsville. That's about two inches. So according to our map scale, two inches equals 200 miles. So and that'll give you a visual re representation of distance there. So here is a map legend. These are important for telling us what we're looking at. So there's an airport. That symbol represents a hospital, and that symbol represents a wildlife area. Also here, those different colors are for different types of roads. And that, the orange and yellow, represents different elevation. And there's our map scale again, and a marking for state capital and interstate routes. Now you're ready to go out and explore the world, but don't forget your map.